All right, boys. Cage face. Case two. The sewer. This game contains images that may be violent and disturbing. For the best experience, play in the dark with headphones. Uh, guys, uh, we played Cade's Face first. Got a little picture. You've probably seen it. I'll probably recommend it on this video. So if you haven't seen the first one, I'll recommend it at the end of this video, and you can actually watch that one if you want to. Uh, don't ask me what the hell this is. Actually, I do. Know, I can tell you all a little bit of it. So Cade's Face is apparently some uh, urban legend. Or not an urban legend, but anyway, apparently it's like a, a miner's um, a miner's legend of a uh, human being that has a parakeet cage for a head. Uh, and if you guys know anything about old miners, you know, back in the day, they used to carry parakeets around for uh, that way they can figure out if there was gases, dangerous gases. So if the parakeet died, they know there was gas around, so they would leave. <laughs> So this is uh this is a guy who's basically got a a, a parakeet cage for a head. I don't know why, but uh, you know someone thought it was a good idea, and we're here. Like, comment, subscribe, click the little bell, all that shit. You know, I don't know. Just fucking flip me off in the comments, whatever. Let's go. Well, what do we do? Up. Oh, okay. Did it lock up? What just happened? Oh. Oh, oh! If you guys don't know what a cage face is, here's a cage face. <laughs> it looks like someone's got a drawing of one. Okay, so let's uh, game credits. Um, I don't know what are we doing. What's this? Letter to a police chief. I understand your concern, chief, and all of us here at Forensics are wishing just as much as you that the person we have in custody was responsible for those horrible deaths, but the evidence suggests otherwise. He definitely did tamper with the bodies, but all the evidence points to it being post-mortem. Also, the wounds on the bodies were clearly done with blunt and sharp, sharp objects, no gunshot wounds, which is odd for someone armed. They would also be impossible for someone of the suspect's build, especially while poisoned. It's most likely a third party was involved, though oddly we couldn't find any trace of another person there. Investigator's Journal, Day 8. It's been a week since that lady hired me to take a look for their missing grandpa. To think I was considering turning this down because I thought it'd be a run of the mill, I soon discovered that the old man had been conducting an investigation of his own one that had been going on for years. In his house, I found a box containing confidential materials about a cold case involving a couple of teens exploring a mine, with a VHS recording of the surviving team being interviewed, talking about how he had been stalked by some unknown being in those mine tunnels. Alongside that were a sketch of what I can assume the old man has been haunted by all these years and what must have attacked the teen. There was also a box with a key to a storage unit, a handgun marked as evidence in the bank heist, and a note left by the man himself detailing how he left all these clues in the hopes that someone would follow them. I just packed my bags and I'm headed to the storage unit this key belongs to, hoping it'll have my next lead. Whatever this thing is that's been haunted the old man, it must be important given the links he went to to collect and spread the evidence out. Day 12. Finally back from checking out that storage unit, and what I found was interesting to say the least. There was plenty of useless junk, of course, but hidden right in the back was another one of the old man's boxes, alongside a small safe. Normally I'd look into this kind of stuff right away, but I figured something like this needed to be looked into in private. The safe was a bit of a heavy load to carry, but I was able to get it into my car along with the box. I'm tired as hell, though. I'll look through it when I have a bit of time to recover from the trip. While I was on the trip, I did call the lady who hired me, though. I've been tossing up whether to tell her about my findings. Did the old man trust his own family? Day 14. Managed to look through the box. Found a couple of things. There was a binder with a few articles about cold cases involving tunnels. Some of them readable, others unreadable. Either in languages I don't speak or just plain redacted. A few of them could just be accidents, but others... Others raised some questions. Decided to put them up in notes on my board. The box also had a strange note left by the old man and another set of confidential documents, evidence, and a VHS tape around a bank robbery that went bad. 
I still need to look into some of the other things that contained, but I will, uh, but what I've seen so far is promising. All right. News report. Robbers meet horrific end in the sewers. A group of four criminals robbed a local bank this week, attempted to use the city sewer systems as a getaway from the police response. In a surprising and tragic twist, what stopped the robbers wasn't the police, but something else. When one of the robbers was caught escaping, the police searched the sewers and found a shocking sight. Three of the robbers, along with four sewer workers, were found dead. Police have not been given much word, but they did mention that the deaths were particularly brutal. Okay, we get it. People are dead. Let's move on. I can't read so much, guys. Holy shit. What's this? Police interrogation record. Sewer homicide suspect. Cold case list. List of cold cases found in the binder, particularly the ones I found interesting and actually readable. Works in progress. Two men killed. Tunnel under construction. Policemen, civilians, Gulang Tunnel, blah, blah, blah. All right. Can we click this? All right, let's click this. Select game mode, normal or hard core mode. Well, I have no cursor, so how do I select? Uh. Ah. Well, which one is selected, blue or red? I'm going to go with red. Let's just play it normal and just say fuck it. Multiple auto saves. Illness progress at the standard rate. All right. Now explain to us exactly what happened. In your own words. Well, you could probably guess the beginning, can't you? Me and the gang robbed a city bank, some paying off a debt, some of us just lining our own pockets. The biggest issues wasn't whether we could do it, it was how we'd get away. I thought it was one hell of a lucky break that one of the boys was a sewer maintenance worker. He mapped out the sewers of the entire city and knew the best route. The plan was that after we robbed the place, we'd enter the sewers and split up and lose the cops. All agreed to a meeting up around the same time from the point in the sewer. So I took my route, but I misread one of my partner's directions and got lost. Unluckily for me, I found the route and was able to get to find a graded entrance that led right through to the meeting area. So I broke through the grate and dropped down into that nightmare. Ooh, boy, look at all these damn... Holy shit, that's a lot of, a lot of destructions. Okay, so uh, WASD... Interact, aim, fire, reload, hold pistol, look, mouse, hold, run, space bar, crouch, flashlight, middle mouse, glad I looked. Q for UI, up and down. To use an item, scroll to temporarily select the item and interact with it with what you want to add. With enough stamina, you can run through unlocked doors without stopping. All right. Ooh, well, that is sensitive. All right. Oh, what is this? That quick 180 turn out. Doesn't look like, doesn't open time to look for a key. Of course. Keys rule. It appears that if I want to leave this dreadful place, I'll have to get these gauges to point green. What is it that controls them? Hmm. The door feels like it's stuck. Perhaps a good slam will dislodge it. Just slam! Da -da 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 -da. Let the boys be boy. Okay, sorry. DMCA. All right, we're going to run into it, guys. Here we go. He a yeah. Ha.
Oh, shit. Well. Workers last recording. Don't know how long I got here. Gonna put my last words on to tape. Bunch of robbers came into the sewers trying to escape from the bank heist. I've been... I had been happy if that was the worst thing that happened today, but right after that, some some thing came out of nowhere and started murdering everybody. Of course, the robbers were armed to the teeth and started fighting back. The thing toppled after a few shots, but it just got back up. Killed one of them like he hadn't even been shot. Christ, it was awful. Listen, for anyone who hears this, keep these things in mind. When that monster showed up, everyone near it started breathing real heavy and looking like they couldn't barely stand on their feet. It must be something like in the air, so I don't know. So don't stay too close if you can help it. If you have a gun, use it. Aim for that thing. It, aim for what that thing has as a head. You can't miss. There's something in there. And while shooting it won't kill it, it will make it start hollering, and that monster can't seem to stand it. Stop dead in its tracks, but not for long. Drop every damn thing you're doing and book it until you lose it. Uh, that's all the advice I got for you. The rest is up to you. I tried to escape through the exit tunnel, but the damn door is sealed. The door to the first valve is locked up tight, and I'm too weak to keep going. What the hell is this guy on about? Whatever I need to get out of here, some, maybe there's something useful on it. Workroom key. Aha! I'm smarter than the average bear. All right, everybody. Today we have a few tasks to do. We better finish them off pretty soon or the higher-ups will have our hides. First of all, we need to have Tom head to the maintenance room, get the PVC pipes and bring them to N1 tunnels, and then replace the leaky ones. The electronic locks for the S1 tunnel and Pool 2 are out of power. Richard needs to head to the control box next to the north pump room and see what's wrong. Then Harry has to do a maintenance check for the pump rooms to make sure that all in working order. Lastly, I'll check the filtration rooms to see if no one can take care of the flooding that might be happening there. Note to self, make sure to bring a stepladder with me. Let the other workers know what uh, is finished and we'll meet up in the room together. Wait, was there a second page? Ah. As discussed earlier between staff, we've implemented a temporary solution regarding the locker codes. Let me make it very clear that this information stays between us and is not to be spread around. For the time being, the recently installed PVC pipes located in the workroom maintenance room and both storage rooms are all colored black, are currently marked with yellow stripes and serial numbers. These serial numbers each represent basic mathematical formulas and cons consist of two numbers within, with a letter in between. The letters separating the two numbers correspond to operation. I know it sounds scary, but trust me when I say it's simpler than it sounds. Just remember this note, especially the part where I said that this information is only the worker. Oh, my God. What are we looking at here? The P is minus. Oh, my God. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to remember this. Okay. These serial numbers each represent basic mathematical formulas and consist of two numbers with a letter in between. The letters separating the two numbers correspond to operation. So it might be like 1P2 or something like that. Okay. So P is plus, M is minus, X is multiplication, D is division. Uh, okay. All right. All right. Maybe, maybe we'll get by on that. Uh, how would I know this? It's a three-digit code. I can easily brute force this. Oh, here we go. 
So this is one of the ones he's talking about. So he said it was the letter. So that would be plus. So seven, seven, eight plus seven, nine. Okay, so these serial numbers each rep represent basic mathematical formulas and consist of two numbers with a letter between them. Okay, all right, so that would be 778 would be the number plus 79. So um, 778 plus 80 uh, would be, let me see if that was 780 plus 80, that would be 7 or 860. That would be 858, 857. 857? Oof. You think? Hmm. Let's see. Well, I'll be damned. All right, got an old lover. That was one of the numbers, though, but the other number, I wonder where that pipe goes to. That's multiplied, so 474 times 2. Um, so, uh, well, okay, we, we, we just do 74 times 74, so let me see, 70, 70. 70, 70, that would be um, 140. Uh, and then plus 16, so that'd be 156. Uh, and then that's um, 156 times uh, plus 800. So 956. 956 would be the next one. Let me see. Well, it went this way. Oh, here we go. Let's see. It's quite the lock. It's been bolted from the other side. Okay. It goes that way. Hopefully the codes run everywhere else. All right, that's fine. Well, hi. How are you? Son of a bitch, he didn't waste no time showing up, did he? And he's fast as fuck. Can I jump? No, I cannot. I could 180 and go right back into him, though. Oh, we dead as fuck right here, boys. He knows how to open doors. Oh, fuck. God damn, this dude's fast. My nuts. Ah! Oh my God, I can't lose him. What the fuck? The son of a bitch. Oh no! Ah! What am I supposed to do? Ah, oh, we, we fucked, boys. Oh! I can't turn it. Ah! am I supposed to do? Oh my god. You don't get any... Okay. Load last save. Yes, please. Let's see where, let, let's see where it put us. Oh my god. You guys know I can't stand it when you have a, a, a monster that just won't get off your dick. I hate, I hate chasing monsters. 
Okay, so we got that. All right, so we already opened this. So that's good. Um, there's no other direction to go. We're going to have to outrun him. I don't know how we're going to pull this off. I'm curious if he's going to pop out anyway. He does not. So he'll only pop out once I pop this. go fuck me Electric. The motherfucker was in the water. Oh, he's teleporting. Fuck. Bros. Yeah, he just teleports right behind you. I I can't stand this type of monster because you 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 can't. He's got us. You, you you don't have time to think. He's on you. Too, he's too close. Like if I could get away from him, then it would be different, right? If I could get away, then I could start figuring stuff out. But he's on my ass. I can't stand it. It's like the Conjuring House. The the fucking monster. Is constantly just right up your ass, and you can't look around. And his, his teleporting shit is like just incredibly hard. I mean, they're, they're like, shoot him and all this stuff, but, like, there's no gun or anything. I can't do dick. I can't do dick with that. So, um, I mean, I'm going to be running from him, and, and I don't know where to go because I can't. I don't have enough time to look. I mean, I might be running right past the gun, and I have no idea. Let's check this body over here real quick. Hold on. Powered by electricity. Yeah, we already know this. We've already searched his body. And there's nothing over here. I'm just going to be running. He's so damn fast. Fuck it. If, hey, if, if we can outrun him, I didn't know you could outrun him. All right. Maintenance key. that ladder uh just letting whoever reads this note know that the flooding problem is getting in the way at a hand here uh the place is poorly maintained and if it keeps going this way the machinery and the wiring would be under two feet of water in the meantime 
I could at least power this stuff off if I had the right tools. These old bolts have rusted stiff and they demand uh, more force to be loosened. If you're reading this, collect the equipment and feel free to start without me. I recall Bob was storing a power tool in the locker west of CO Tunnel. Uh, if you're reading this, it, so if you've got the code, you can, okay. Oh, there's a switch. Fuck, I ain't gonna remember where all this shit is. This is a complicated ass map. Oh my God. Electricity running through the water. make use of it but how do i get it off okay so i'm gonna need to get this this wheel off of here somehow i think we're heading back to where we were Hopefully we can continue to outrun him and buy us some time so we can search for stuff. He might show up and start chasing again. But just hopefully, yeah, we're going back to where we came and that's all right. Uh, we all thought we could use some more room in the maintenance area. For this reason, we decided to move a couple of things around to other places in the sewer. So far, we've had to place that locker elsewhere. The rest will come later. Is there a, is there a code here? B3. Oh, so it's the final... It's that end code on the end of the, the black cable that said that I'm going to try 956, but I don't think it's going to work. Nope. I could brute force it, but we're not going to. It's not any fun for me brute forcing. It, it, that, actually, I could probably brute force this real quick. Let me, let me see how fast it takes me to do one set of numbers. Hold on. Ah, you see, because... You see how, how I have to click every time? See, that's going to make this really slow. If it just tripped automatically, then it would be very fast. But because I have to do that, nope. We'll go ahead and we'll just keep looking. Step ladder, storage key, maintenance key. See, hey Harry, I tried calling you in the north pump room. All right, I don't want to have to read all this stuff because it's just going to get very confusing trying to remember it. We're going to wing it for now. Let's see if we get. Uh... Now that was some bullshit. That was some bullshit. Where he was standing, that was some bullshit. Now, I don't know if he was stuck or if he was just standing there. He doesn't make a lot of noise.
That's all right. We didn't really have a lot to lose. But let's see if we can lose him. Okay, he's still down there, but he's not pursuing. Yeah, he's definitely still standing there. Yep, he saw us. Damn it, I was going to try to get the thing. He teleported. The name of this game is Cage Face 2. Bird singing tele is when he teleports. Yeah. The only thing is, I do not think he disappears. I think he teleports somewhere and he's actually physically standing there. where I started out. In a way, that's good. Ah, B3. That's that locker right there. I'm going to have to remember some of these damn codes. I need something to write on. Give me something to write on. So 603 multiplied by 52. What the fuck? No, that's minus. 603 minus 52.
So five five one for B three. Five five one for B three and two fifty seven plus eighty. Three oh seven would be plus fifty, so three thirty seven. So five fifty one and three thirty seven. the gun aha okay I think it'll save if I open another locker. I'm unwell. That's him right there. That's him right there. I'm going to have to go the long way around. I can't. How did I get up here?
a storage key. There it is. Okay, wrong code. Got the power tool. He's right there. Uh, one of the notes said I needed a, 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 a stepladder. I'll have to find it again. There were, there are a lot of notes, a lot of notes. If we go back where we came, Four seventy four times two, nine forty eight. Three thirty seven and nine forty eight are two that I have. I am a bank robber that tried to flee to the sewers. The serial killer from has made a return according to sources from the state authorities. The tunnel man killings were for occurring were occurring across several states and being so that the FBI became involved. When the cases went cold in the states in similar murders began appearing in other countries. However, recent cases have emerged indicate the killer may have made a return. Nice, we got the pump room open. That is a shortcut. Piece storage key and a power tool. So this is where we started. storage power by electricity
Damn, I don't know any of these. There's K9 and P9, both of them. Uh, 732 divided by 3. Two forty four. Got the fuse. Oh, it's a P P nine is already opened. the workroom. I gotta find that note again. Okay, this is start. This is where we started. Try the power tool on that big valve. Of course, I don't know what the hell we're going to use that valve for. I'm pretty sure the first time we encountered him, I ran like hell, so I think I came across it by just running in a straight line. I need to get around this son of a bitch. He's right here. Well. I had to do it, dudes. He's he's stuck. I need him moving. He's in the way. He's not getting off my dick either. distance thing because I keep I'm appearing underneath him instead of a straight line fuck me that was the valve I needed He's swinging at me. I can't breathe. I can't get my stamina back. Fucking gas. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I cannot run him. He got it finally. I couldn't turn around fast enough to shoot him. That's why I didn't. He was he was literally up my asshole. He had his tool inside my asshole, scraping the fucking turds. We'll just have to see where the autosave was. Okay. All right. This is not so bad. This is okay. Oh, 
problem is I need that damn pump that we came across. Probably right over here. That's the beginning right there. He just teleported on me? This is not the way to outrun him because you see I'm not getting any any link, any distance from him. He doesn't consider down a distance. He just teleported behind me. Fuck off, finally. All right, hopefully he has moved. I got to get to that big valve. He just teleported. Seven ninety two. Electric fuse box key. Shit. Oh, fuck. Damn it, I need this. What the? Oh my god. Did he get closer behind me? He did. Fucking monkey.
Need a wrench or something. What the? He's close. Fucking bitch. That's the fuse box I need. Fuck. God damn you, you fuck. I'm suffocating, guys. That's what's happening. He's giving off a gas. It's not that I can outrun him. He gives off a gas and I can't, I'm, I'm breathing it just through the walls. You see, just through the walls. Yeah. He didn't, he didn't grab me. I, it's just the gas was going through the wall. Like, so the, the, if you look at how the ramps go, the ramps go on top of each other, kind of like in a spiral. So when he's over you, even though you're in the in the staircase directly under him, he's still close enough for the gas to fucking affect you. So it's, I, I mean, it's not a bug. I get it, but like, pain in the ass. Going back up because I thought I saw the electrical, the electrical thing that I need. Kind of a cheater. He's the nurse from Dead by Daylight. Goes through walls. Coming. He's right over me. That was a bad move. Teleport right behind me. Cheating son of a bitch.
That's where we started. There it is. Fuse is missing. Fuck! I don't know if it caught it on the autosave or not. He just teleported right behind me. Did you see the mask? Yeah, it's right there by the TV. Actually, you know what? There's another, there's another right up at the very top. I might get killed by this guy because I'm trying this. Yep. Shit. Room, filtration room. <sighs> Shit, they might just be shortcuts. Cutters. Gonna open the lock to that door. He's gonna appear in the uh, in the sewer right behind me. There he goes. Is 
the wrench that'll give us the valve. Hopefully it saves the game too. Must have been born in these sewers. No, after uh, one of the guys, one of the, one of the guys that works with me on the job, or works with me on the the bank job, he was a sewer worker. So he mapped out all these sewers as an escape route for when they robbed the bank. Too stupid to realize? No, I'm just letting you play yourself out. It took you like 30 fucking minutes to come back. I'm just waiting to see what you have to contribute. Your content's fucking boring as fuck, man. Like that last shot was like nothing. But it took you 30 fucking minutes, so I mean, I'm, I'm waiting to see if you have something original to come to the table. I mean, I tell you what. I'll let you say whatever the fuck you want to say. If you can actually come up with something original, it gives me a fucking hard on. I mean, honestly, the problem is you probably just didn't have the shit slapped out of you when you were a kid. And I don't know what I'm talking about. You're still a fucking kid, obviously, but that's why you're such an insolent little shit. No fucking titty milk and no one beats your ass when you deserved it. Can't come up with anything original, man. All my people in here got bored of you, dude. They, they, you didn't offer anything original, so like their dicks aren't hard. If their dicks aren't hard, mine's certainly not hard. So I mean, you must be boring as fuck. Say something interesting. You're acting like there's a, there's anything that goes on in my stream I don't know about. That's all you've got. I said I enjoy this. That that's the content you're bringing. I gave you a chance to say something creative, maybe make someone laugh. I don't know, make someone think you had had at least half a fucking brain, a couple of brain cells. Maybe you didn't have a fucking, you know, sorry excuse of a life. 
something to prove that you were actually worth the shit as a human being and like you didn't just take up space and waste people's precious air but like that's what you come up with so essentially you're just taking people's air you're a waste of skin that's what you're saying god wasted skin when he created you You're one of the many people out there that should have been swallowed. Well, orgasm that or orgasming to my mother's pussy. That that's what you have. Orgasming. Orgasming to my mother's pussy. That that's what you have. You're 13, aren't you? Are you 12 or are you 13? Because, I mean, honestly, I've had worst insults in a fifth grade fucking playground. Do you run fifth grade? Is that what you think you do? Or are you more of a third grader? I mean, because honestly, look, if you lost brain cells in anyone's pussy, <laughs> which is laughable, then that's some pretty damn good pussy and props up to my mom. But, you know, the fact that you think you've actually ever been naked with a lady is laughable at best. Actually, it's not even laughable, honestly, because that will never happen. So you're also a liar. Like. One's in chat if you think this guy has ever had sex. No ones. Look at that. Damn. That's a shame, man. No fucking ones. Nobody in chat thinks you've ever had sex. I mean, they're not wrong. And it's obvious you hate yourself because you masturbate as much as you fucking do. You probably cry while you masturbate. <laughs> I'm never going to have sex. <laughs> it's, it's sad, man. You're a crier, aren't you? That's okay. You can laugh at him. Most people who cry while they masturbate get laughed at. Don't feel bad, man. It's a natural. It's a natural response to laugh at someone like him. Hey guys, do, do y'all know that this guy has been holding a grudge against me for fucking like six months? Like that's how infatuated this guy is. I don't know if he like swings that way or what. I mean, I'm straight at six o'clock, but like this guy has got something serious for me, man. Like he really wants it. I mean, I hate to break it to you, man, but I'm spoken for, you know? 
I mean, listen, I know I'm obesely fucking attractive, but, you know, I'm just, I'm not into your way, man. I'm sorry. Not that there's anything wrong with that. You're fine. I'm not attracted to you, so you really just need to stop stalking me, man. I'm getting a little creeped out. There are anti-stalking laws in process here, man, and you're not only bullying me and harassing me, but I'm also feeling like you're stalking me, which is, you know, illegal. I mean, Jesus, Twitch's Terms of Service has a freaking... It's against the rules to bully somebody. It's against the rules to harass somebody. Especially stalk somebody. Because it's against the TOS to break a law on Twitch. And you're stalking me. That's breaking the law. My God, dude. Do you realize that? You're, you're, you're committing a crime. A fucking crime. Oh, my God. This guy is committing a crime against me. He's freaking harassing me. He's bullying me. I'm highly offended by his remarks about my mom's pussy. I'm offended by it. Just the mere thought that he thinks he's good enough to get in my mom's pussy. My mom's got really high standards. She wouldn't just spread eagle for anybody. It's got to be the the uh, the valve that's underwater. Got to be the first one, if I can find it. Luckily, the sewer is not that big. right there. I think it's down. Trouble with this is he's going to appear right behind me when I get over here. Through the wall, right behind me. There he comes. Nothing I could do on that one. Well, that was a weird hang up. So it's weird that it puts us here. I've got the valve wheel, but like, I guess that's not where it goes. Hmm. Oh well.
I need to go down, not, uh... So this is C. Yeah, A is definitely the one that's underwater. I remember, I remember there's a picture, there's a little picture of an A. Came this way. He might be right in front of me. Sick of shit, you know it. We're dead. I know what I'm looking for, it's just hard to find it. So it should be on this level. Yeah, that's uh, that's C. That's the last one where the bolt cutters are. I have to go to A, which is the one with the power box. I'm having trouble locating it. It would be easier if I knew where all these, these signs went, but I don't. We'll come back across it if I just, this is the normal. down. I hear the water, so we've got to be on the right level. That's where the bolt cutters were, so... Yeah, keep going down. We're at the right height. This is the valve, I think, that's going to make everything loosen up. Just ran full circle, man. I'm, I'm missing the damn... It's not in any of these rooms. Like, you literally come out of a, a big area, and then you got the stairs that lead. Kind of like this area. I'm going to go through this door over here. I don't think it's going to lead me to the right spot. He's right in front of us. Yeah, this is where the bolt cutters were. 
I need to go down. If I find it, I need to remember where the hell it is. It might be in the pump room. Mm. I'm go back down. See, this is where the water level is, so it's got to be on this level. Water's now electrified. That takes us to the side door. This is it right here. Bop his ass and run for it. This is B. Fuck. Where the fuck is A? Right there. Oh shit. I'm I, they might have gave me a checkpoint on that one. I'm not sure on that valve. Did we jump down the ladder? I can't remember. Okay, yeah, I did. C is the one that's in b behind one of the electric doors. That one shouldn't be as hard to find. I mean, I don't know where it is, but I know it's behind an electric door. So pretty much if we find an electric door and go behind it, we should be able to find it. Might be right here, as a matter of fact. We're heading right towards him. He's gonna teleport right behind me. He did.
fuck. I'm dying because of the uh, poisonous gas. Probably gonna die if he chases me again. <sighs> ah, he's got me. might teleport right behind me and kill me. Motherfucker's chasing me. God damn it. It's probably gonna say it's probably gonna autosave on that last valve. No. Oh my god. Fuck my asshole raw. This is what it considers more auto saves. Can you imagine if I played it on a harder difficulty? This is more. Okay, C is actually pretty easy to find. He's going to teleport behind me right here.
Where's the ladder? No. Close to where I start. Fucking lag, man. Where's the door? Shit. Fucking lag spikes in this game, man. Fucking A. I climbed out of the manhole thinking I was clear, only to be confronted by one of your boys in blue that happened to be parked right by the manhole. I tried to warn y'all about what was down there, but I could hardly talk, and I was taking everything I had to vomit on the spot. I was pretty damn shocked you didn't find anything down there. As we stated before, we didn't find signs of a third party down there. Frankly, I'm shocked you expected us to believe this wild story. Of course you don't. I barely even do. I spent days trying to figure it out. I'm just utterly insane. I don't have a damn clue. Frankly, all I do know is you're definitely not going to try to pin this on me. You know what? I don't actually blame you. You keep this in mind, though. If what I saw down there is real and I'm not out of, out of my mind, then that thing is still out there. 
I don't know if it was worth fucking playing. I honestly don't. I mean, we beat it, but... Yeah, that took a lot longer than I thought. That took four hours. That's so different than the first one. The first one took the same amount of damn time. It had the, the first one had little shit like that that just was not clear. At what cost? Eh. I got to have my fucking favorite stalker fucking fanboy come in here. Yeah, I can't say that it was worth it, but yeah, it was, I mean, like I didn't get mad. I, I didn't actually get mad at the game, you know, so I must have been having fun because I didn't rage. <laughs> 